There continues to be a shortage of priests in the Green Bay Catholic Diocese, which is why they rely on international priests to fill the gap. Local 5 Samantha Petters explains how the ability to obtain a religious-based green card has become more difficult, impacting our area parishes. We reach out to different bishops in other countries to see if they have uh, priests that they can loan us for a period of five, maybe ten years to come and serve in, in the Diocese of Green Bay. Once we get that approval, we go through a process to obtain what's called an R1 visa, which is the religious workers visa. But last year, that process became more difficult when the U.S. State Department decided international priests and other religious workers must return home after five years and stay there for one year before restarting the R1 process. We're looking at things such as um, reducing the total time that they have to be out of the country to let them come back after um, one month and then start an R1 process all over again for an additional five years. For many years, the Catholic Diocese of Green Bay has invited and sponsored international priests to serve parishes. And as Deacon Peter Gard says, they're a vital part of those communities. Felix Abano moved here from the Philippines almost six years ago, but he says Green Bay has become his home. I am so happy because I love doing the work here, being assigned here in Diocese of Green Bay. But because of the uh, service of the people, of their support, that makes me confident uh, doing my job as a priest. Abano serves three parishes throughout Northeast Wisconsin. He says it's a blessing and he prays he can continue doing what he loves here. Doing the green card, God knows what is best for us. So we are trying to serve here in the Diocese of Green Bay as long as we can. In Green Bay, Samantha Petters, Local 5 News. The Catholic Diocese of Green Bay is calling this matter to the attention of our U.S. Senators and Congressmen, asking them to decrease the time required outside the United States between R1 visas. Deacon Peter Gard asks all of those of good faith and goodwill to contact their representatives regarding this important immigration issue.